theupscaler.com. And then there's another one called bigjpig.com. And again, there's a plethora of other websites that do this. Uh, again, I didn't know. But I've done a lot of digging these pa this past day, and I found tons of them. It's just they all have little different features here and there, and most of them have a pro version. And I think the one that I found for free is more than enough uh, for what most of you guys will need uh, out of an app like this. So the website we're going to be hopping onto is Zyro.com. Uh, I believe this is by a hosting. It's it's owned by a hosting company, like a website hosting company. It's 100% free, guys. You can use it unlimited times. You don't have like a. I, I believe Image Upscaler has a a cap of 10 images per week or per month or something like that on the free version. Uh, but uh, on Zyro.com. It's unlimited. They have a really cool little slider that you're about to see here in a bit of what the image looked before and after. And yeah, I mean, I think it's a wonderful tool that I think I'm going to be using on my day to day workflow more and more. Super easy to use, like I said. Anybody can use it. Just drag and drop. Free to use. And it can be used pretty much on any device. It does not get better than that, guys. We're going to go ahead and hop over to the computer. I'm gonna upload, I'm just gonna show you a quick tutorial, literally gonna take maybe a minute or two. It's, we're gonna take an image, a very low quality image, uh, process it through the website, and then it's gonna let us download it and you guys will see the difference. So let's, let's get to it. All right guys, so we are in Zyro right here. Uh, super easy website to use. Like I said, I, I just literally did a quick Google search. I love Digimon. Digimon, for some reason, never has any high-quality images for, like, wallpapers or stuff like that. Just because it was a show that, you know, kind of competed against Pokemon. But anyways, bah, whatever. I love Digimon. Here's an image. We're going to download it. Uh, we're going to save the image as uh, Digimon Square. We're just going to call it that. I'm going to save it to the downloads. As you guys can see, it is a 360 by 360 pixel image. Very small, small square. But we're going to switch back over here to uh, Zyro.com. And like I said, it is hosted by Hostinger. I believe they host websites and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool that they offer this for free. Uh, but yeah, like, like it says, AI image upscaler. Stop worrying about image resolutions, enhance images, and upgrade your low resolution snaps with Zyro's AI Image Upscaler. Now, here, here's a disclaimer, guys. Nothing is perfect. Nothing when you try to modify some of this stuff is perfect. Some images will work better than others. Obviously, the smaller the image, the harder it is going to be a, soft, a software for this to process. But also the complexity of the image. For example, this image we're about to put in here has a lot of detail. And you will see some imperfections, but I think, I believe like for logos and for a little bit bigger images, this software gets the job done really well. So for all my sublimation people out there that honestly go through this probably the most and now DTF printers or DTG, this is a lifesaver, guys. So we're going to go ahead and upload an image. We're going to click that. We're going to go to my downloads. And I believe Digimon Square is right here. We're going to open it. 34 kilobytes in size. It's going to do its thing. Bam. It's done. What did that take? Like 10, 15 seconds. There's a slider right here, as, as you guys can see. The original. You slide it to the right. You see the original blurry image. Tiny square. And then you swipe it over to the left. And look at that, guys. It's crazy how good of a job this software does and how much clarity it brings out in this picture it's, it's just it's crazy to me so we're gonna go ahead and download the image we're gonna hit download image and we're gonna name it digimon square version 2 right so we're gonna hit save and that's gonna go into our download check it out so this is on the left side of the the process one and then on the right side, you'll see how much smaller 
this is the easiest way I can compare the, the original image. So on the right side of the screen is the original image. On the left side of the screen is the upscaled one. There's some imperfection over here on his face. Obviously, the, the smaller, more background characters have a little bit of a distortion. But guys, literally from going from this tiny image to a much bigger um, file size, I think it does a great job. Anyways, guys, that's literally it for this tutorial. I really hope this brings some type of uh, help to your work to your everyday workflow. And guys, like I said, if y'all like this video, smash and destroy that like button, please. It helps the algorithm push this video further to other people like us that will get some very good insight off of this video and that can save them tons of time and money. And not to mention, guys. This is actually something that you guys can add to your packages where if it is an image that's super small, you guys can charge to upscale. Obviously, it's as long as it looks good, but you can actually charge for this service and or add it as a free add-on and bring more value to your customers. So always keep that in mind. You always want to be looking for ways to bring more value to your customers. There's a free way to do it. And either again you can bring free value or charge for it I, that's totally up to you uh but yeah guys thank you so much for joining me today and i'll catch you guys on the next one